Hello, this is a short version of trying to assess which diaphragm is which, the left or the right, on a lateral chest x-ray. There's a longer version also up on YouTube. So why do we care? Well, there are occasions, such as when patients have a spine sign from a lower lobe pneumonia, that we can't see on the frontal chest x-ray, and our only indication is something like this on the lateral chest x-ray, and by identifying which diaphragm is being silhouetted out, we'll be able to tell what side it is. There are four clues, some of which work in all patients, and sometimes only one of this works, and in a minority of chest x-rays, it's impossible to tell. These are height, gas bubbles, loss of the diaphragm anteriorly, and the magnification of one hemithorax, and I'm going to go through these in order. If one diaphragm is significantly higher than the other, that can be very helpful, and that's the easiest thing to look at, such as in this patient. Second easiest is when there's a large gas bubble, usually the stomach, under the left hemidiaphragm here, although sometimes you can have a big loop of colon sitting under the right hemidiaphragm, and you can see that clearly on both the frontal and the lateral study, then that can identify which diaphragm it is. The heart sits on top of the anterior part of the left hemidiaphragm, so the left hemidiaphragm is going to fade out anteriorly at the level of the heart. Conversely, the right hemidiaphragm, in most patients, you see all the way into the retrosternal space like this. The final one to use when all else fails is to do with magnification of the right hemithorax relative to the left because the right side of the patient is furthest away from the film in a lateral chest x-ray. You can see here how equivalent points in the left and right hemithoraces are being magnified differently with the right appearing larger. So we can see that this larger and more posterior set of ribs, more posterior because the hemithorax is larger, is going to be the right. The smaller and more anterior one is going to be the left. So we can follow down the right to the posterior costophrenic angle, and here it joins the right hemidiaphragm. And we can follow down the left to the posterior costophrenic angle, and here it is the left hemidiaphragm. So remember, if you want to find which hemidiaphragm is which on the lateral chest x-ray to be able to lateralize a small pleural effusion or lower lobe pneumonia, check the height of the diaphragms, check for the presence of any big gas bubbles, look for the loss of one hemidiaphragm, the left, anteriorly, and if none of those work in a particular patient, look to see which hemithorax is magnified the most and then trace it anteriorly from the posterior costophrenic angle. Thanks for listening.